This question says n equals 27, s equals 3, or you, to use that, to create a 95% confidence interval for the standard deviation. It doesn't say it's normally distributed population, but we'll just have to go with that. So if n is 27, degrees of freedom is 26. 95% confidence means alpha is 5% or 0.05, and alpha over 2 is 0 0.025. I squared right is row 26, column 0, 2, 5, to give me 41.923. Finding chi squared left, I'm still in row 26, but now I'm in column 975. Why? Because remember we take 1 minus 0 0.025, because we want, even though that area is in my left tail, I need area to the right, because that's how the table works, to give me 13.844. Since I'm finding a confidence interval for the standard deviation, I have to use the formula for a confidence interval about a standard deviation. I go ahead and plug the numbers in. And when I go to write it, you know, I don't necessarily need to go to the detail above. I know that 27 minus 1 is 26. I can square 3 in my head. So, I mean, maybe you're just writing it that way. 26 times 9 divided by 13.844. However you need to go about it. Um, at first, I just clean up the inside and I haven't taken the square roots yet, which hopefully I know that I still need to take the square roots because you'll notice that 3 is not in this range. And even though I'm not doing my point estimate plus or minus a margin of error, my point estimate of S, my sample standard deviation, still has to be in the range, and 3 in this case is not. So then I take my square roots, and once I do that, sure enough, S, my sample standard deviation, is in the range. So I can go ahead and provide my answers with two-digit decimal values. 2.36 to 4.11 has a standard deviation somewhere in there.